see my intro. I'm bored. Like, I'm bored with that intro. I hate Taylor Swift ladies. I'm ill. I don't know if you've noticed. But I'm not the good kind of ill where you just kind of, like, stay home, throw up once in a while. I'm the kind of, like, ill where, like, I can't breathe. I feel like this back lighting is, like, not cute. But can you see me if just this part is lit? Actually, yeah, you can see me better. I look decent. currently 8 16 and I don't have dinner being that I am ill and also could probably die at any minute it's gonna be a difficult situation at the moment I have a couple of different options on what to eat but none of them full you know for example I have beef to make hamburgers but I don't have buns I have breadcrumbs to make chicken cutlets but I don't have chicken you know like I have half of what's needed so I think the first step is research. What do we need? What can we make? Let's go. So we ran into some problems. My brother keeps on playing his show and it's like you can hear it and it's really annoying and that's our problem. Like, ugh. Finn, come take your toy back! So being that I am ill, I decided the best thing for me to make is pizza. We're gonna make a pizza. I haven't done my homework, but we're gonna make a pizza. Let me like tilt you so that you can like see things. You can't, you still can't. I'm just at a better angle. Hi. So we're gonna need four of these. One. Next we're gonna need one teaspoon of baking powder. And then we're gonna need half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Actually, I don't know if we have salt. How fudge. That like bent my nail. It didn't even hurt that bad, it just felt uncomfortable. I can't find salt. Ah! How did we run out of salt? If I don't put salt in here, will that make that big of a difference? Next we need half a cup of milk. Now, I'm not a big fan of milk, but I'll eat it on a pizza because pizzas are yummy. I will throw up later and I will get more sick, but it's worth it. Now it says two tablespoons of olive oil, but I really don't feel like measuring, so we're just gonna... That's two tablespoons. Now we're gonna grab this little paddle and we're gonna just stir this all together until it forms what is known as a thick dough. Damn, she thick. Oh my god. Guys, I'm making something. Guys. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, now we need to knead it. Take off our sweater. Now we need to knead our dough. We need to knead. Now, I watch The Great British Baking Show, so I know that you cannot over-knead your dough. Because if you over-knead your dough, it'll taste kind of, like, rubbery and tough. Now, if you're, like, comparing me to, like, Emma Chamberlain or that, that Joanna girl who's, like, making her way up to the top, don't. Why? Because, first of all, I started YouTube kind of around the same time as Emma Chamberlain, but I, I started YouTube before she got popular. So don't no compare me to her. She just got to the top quicker, okay? Probably because she's older and in love with the Dolan twins. Like, that's just... Um, also, both of them tried to make pizza, and both of them failed. So, as you can see, I'm obviously superior to both of them. Also, I've been making my own cooking show since I was probably, like, two, okay? Because I've been cooking for a while now, and I just talk to myself as I cook. As if I was on a TV show. Because I'm mentally unstable. This is really taking a toll on my chest. Okay, so this dough smells a lot like olive oil. Probably because I just added more. But, um, it's looking like dough. I think this is what dough is supposed to look like, right? So I think we're gonna start rolling it up. Unless I need to knead it more. Do I need to knead it more? I don't want to over knead it. I don't want it to taste like rubber. You know? Because that's bad. I'm just gonna roll with it. I do have a rolling pin in But I don't want to use it for personal reasons. So, while I'm like rolling this up, I'm gonna tell you guys about life, you know, because you need it. So, I was watching. Okay. So, I was watching.
this really old commercial for this movie. It's called like Penelope or something. And it's about this girl with a, a pig nose. Um, and she dead kind of looked like Um, I need to, I need to bleep that out. That is too much tea for the internet. So tomorrow I have to run the mile, but I'm actually just going to walk it because I'm going to actually die if I run it. So let me tell you what happened today. So I was chilling with some buds, you know, like you do. Oh no, it's ripping. And all of a sudden, I got severe chest pains. And we weren't doing great. I legitimately had one of the worst asthma attacks of my life. And I don't even have asthma. I had that asthma attack from literally doing nothing. I was lying down on a railing and then I got up and my chest was like, mm -mm, that railing work? Too much work. Is this, this is looking more like a square. So I think we're just gonna have like a square pizza. I want it to be thinner than this, but it's not going to be. That was the cap to my olive oil. Spank that dough. Who's your daddy? Now that we have our dough, as probably as thin as we will have it, we're gonna put it on a pan because I'm smart. Ah. Jesus. Next, we're gonna put our pizza dough on our pan. Yes! Oh my god, how cool would it be if this actually comes out like a pizza? Oh my god, I'm a chef. We're already 20 minutes into this video, and I'm not excited to edit it. Guess who else isn't excited? Because <laughs> I'm annoying. And I don't like to listen to myself talk. So I chose the wrong pastime. So. I'm making pizza. If I make it, will you have some? No. Next, we're gonna use this Don Pepino pizza sauce. Pizza sauce. Yank that open. Oh my god, that splattered everywhere. You can't see it, but it's a mess. Hey, what's that? That little, that little, that little beeping noise was my oven preheating. Um, it's at 400 degrees. Ugh. My pizza looks so beautiful, and I'm so proud of myself. Next, we're just putting some cheese on it. Personally, I don't like toppings on my pizza. I just like it to be cheese. Now we're gonna pop her into the oven for eight to 10 minutes, which is nine minutes. There was already a pot in hold on. Now we wait. We still have some dough left over. Let's try it. That has no flavor. Turns out we needed salt. Hey guys. It doesn't look done. We're gonna take it out though. This is my pizza. It feels soft which is a bad sign. So it's cooked. Well, actually, let's do a uh, Paul Hollywood's thing. It's cooked. It's soft. Wow, you know what? That's gross. 